Maps have been mostly in the green this week with a huge 10% spike in Bitcoin on Tuesday. Over the course of 48 hours, the leading crypto gained $1,000. It was good news across the board as 98 out of the 100 top cryptos posted gains. Also this week, Goldfinger, aka Peter Schiff, thinks Bitcoin is doomed. Billionaire Mark Lassery thinks it'll hit 40K in five years. And former chief strategist of the White House, Steve Bannon, is in talks to release his own cryptocurrency for the populist movement. Here is your weekly HODLers Digest. Congress talked crypto this week. In a hearing titled, The Future of Money, Digital Currency, they discussed the use of cryptocurrency and blockchain, arguing whether central banks should introduce a digital currency. Ultimately, banks need to decide themselves if they were in or out of crypto. At one point, a central bank digital currency was described as one of the worst financial ideas of recent times, but one that was still conceivable. The Federal Reserve adopting a central bank digital currency would result in it becoming the overwhelming credit allocator of the U.S. economic and financial system. If fiat money becomes digitized, its nature will not be changed and it will still be centralized. The main thing that would get in the way of mass adoption was tracking profits and losses for capital gains taxes. One congressman pushed for an outright ban, and another argued the case for sinful regulation, pointing out that just because it can be used for illegal activity doesn't mean it should be criminalized. After all, criminals use computers, planes, and cars to commit crime, and all of those things are still legal. Talk of a centralized cryptocurrency is worrying, so let's hope the more pragmatic voices win out in regards to crypto and regulation. This week on the Joe Rogan Experience, Peter Schiff went after Bitcoin, and he went right for the jugular. As a libertarian, he said that it was tailor-made for him. He hates government, and there's plenty wrong with fiat. Um, and, you know, I missed out on the Bitcoin bubble, but, but this bubble was tailor-made for me. However, he does think that Bitcoin is the perfect bubble and that the smart people are selling. But some true believers are the ones willing to go down with the ship. He regrets not getting into cryptocurrency earlier, as Bitcoin was below just $10 when he first heard about it. Contrary to popular belief, it is his understanding of how Bitcoin really works, not his ignorance, that informs his views. He went on to compare it unfavorably to gold. And he also committed the sacrilege of giving Satoshi the wrong name. Schiff also believes governments will use Bitcoin's failure as a way to criticize the free market and expand the government. Peter Schiff did correctly predict the 2008 financial crash, so let us know in the comments if his warning worries you or if this is just Schiff spreading FUD and shilling for his gold company. Elon Musk was forced by Tesla investors this week to apologize to a diver for insulting him on Twitter. Hopefully, he has learned a valuable lesson in the timeout corner. But not all billionaires are petulant children. Take Mark Lassery, for example. This week, he said Bitcoin could reach 40K, with investors making five or 10 times their money in just a three to five year time frame. He believes this will happen as the cryptocurrency is becoming more widely accepted as well as becoming easier to trade. Lassery runs a distressed debt investment firm, which manages nearly $10 billion in assets. He regrets not buying into Bitcoin earlier, but he did clarify that all the crypto he hodls was bought using his own personal funds. Don't worry, Mark. Although you were late to the party, you were more than welcome. And since Bitcoin spiked 10% on Tuesday, the sky's the limit, we hope. A Swiss army knife has many utilities, a corkscrew, a compass, even a pen. Maybe one day, they might even add a cold storage key. But for now, Six Group, the parent company of Switzerland's major stock exchange, have settled for adding crypto trading to its budding digital platform set to launch in mid-2019. It will be a fully regulated platform for trading digital assets. The service is set to offer a range of services, including initial coin offering consulting. Six Group spokesperson Stephen Meyer claimed that there is a real need for the establishment of transparency and accountability in the crypto world. Meyer also noted that the company wants to build a bridge between the traditional financial services and digital communities. He did clarify, however, that nothing is 100% and that they are open to crypto, but no plans are set in stone. Earlier this week, Switzerland was named the second most favorable country for ICOs, outperformed only by the US. Former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon confirmed his plans to get into crypto this week, possibly issuing a token for the worldwide populist movement. Bannon also mentioned he owned some Bitcoin, but he didn't say how much. We are working on some tokens now, utility tokens, potentially for a populist movement on a worldwide basis, but they have to be quality. Bannon also criticized the ICO market. Too many investors, I think, have been blown out by things that are not thought through. 
The collaborative effort on issuing his own tokens would likely be through talks with investors and hedge fund managers, as Cointelegraph previously reported. Bannon intends to then distribute them via his own private investment firm. Bannon's particular brand of populism is currently spreading throughout Europe and America. Governments in Italy and Hungary have recently elected far-right parties that ran on anti-immigrant, anti-globalist platforms. And don't forget hashtag MAGA. Never has the term white paper seemed more appropriate. Novogratz is a true believer, but he's still a realist. He explained this week that there are obstacles preventing widespread blockchain and crypto adoption. The increasing cost of technical talent, the doubts of conventional investors. Think about how institutional investors operate. It's hard to tell your boss, I have money in places you've never heard of. You need a trusted name custodian, a Japanese bank or HSBC or ICE or Goldman Sachs to allow institutional investors to feel comfortable. He urges the public to get into blockchain and crypto, reassuring people that it's not necessary for users to understand the tech in detail. Novogratz predicted that Bitcoin would hit 10K by the end of 2017, and technically, he was right. It did hit 10K, but it then skyrocketed to 20K in December. His latest prediction is more general, but just as bold. He now believes the mass adoption of crypto and blockchain can be expected in just five to six years. Well, Mike, we certainly prefer your crystal ball to Peter Schiff's. Schiff did predict the 2008 financial crisis. Is he right about Bitcoin? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, like, subscribe, and hodl. Cointelegraph, like, subscribe, and hodl.